know. Should we be yelling, Mr. Cotta, Mr. Cotta? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. You know, I just talked to Gabe uh, a couple few days ago. Really? Yeah, you know, I was trying to get him to do an autograph sign. I said, hi, you want to do a game? No. I said, okay, thank you. That you was know, it. Yeah, but he's my buddy. You know, we're cool. Yeah. You know, this is such a big, big TCM festival this it, year. It's a big deal, man. Not only because it's the first time back in person after three years, but to be celebrating coffee, cooling mm. high. I mean, they're, they're really going into the to the real roots, man, you know, yes. of what films are. So um, I'm, 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 when they picked us, I, I'm not BSing around. I take it as the highest point of flattery. I was like, wow, that's big. Yeah. So that's all right. Hmm? Now, how exciting is it to have so much of the cast reunited for this? I think it's great. I mean, you know, I see a lot of them sometimes because we frequent, but the most exciting thing is they found Cynthia Davis, who played the, the beauty in the movie, Brenda. We haven't seen her in like almost 50 years wow. so she's gonna be here so we're it's more like we want to see her and spoil her up and kiss her and hug her to death and let her know we love her and um it, it's exciting whenever i get together with glenn or steve or or garrett morris you know we all were friends back in new york and coming up as actors so we're just knuckleheads sitting around talking crap all day long and you know and, and messing with each other but we, it's a genuine love you know it's a very easy love Oh my God. Lucky, we're lucky. I was so thrilled to see both of these films mm. on the lit, on this year's program. Yeah, man. Yeah. And Pam, you know, I mean, I haven't seen Pam in a while. I mean, I was like, right on, sister. That's another completely nice lady, for real. Yeah. Very nice person. And of course, she's going to be the whole focus of the TCM podcast this fall. Good for her, man. Yeah. Well, she deserves it. She's got a great history and a nice story. And she's beyond smart. You know, she said, look kind of good, too, man, so ain't nothing wrong with that. No. So what has been your secret, Lawrence? My over, secret for... Over the years, you keep working, you entertain us, you do dramas, comedies. I don't know, I got, I got off of, you know, the... No, I wouldn't say that. I got off the crack pipe. No. <laughs> you know, something, you have to make life work, you know, and um, everything's a hustle, of course. You have to make it work. I just believe that you got to go off and have a life. So, I mean, when I'm into doing work, of course, I'm focused and I try to do the best you can. And then I go off and I move my family or the grandkids or, um, I mean, you know, a few weeks ago, I took my granddaughter out to the beach. And this is what we did. We filled the two bags with just um, bread and we were throwing it at the seagulls. And, and uh, she flipped out because they all came converging on but it was exciting. And then we went off somewhere and got something to eat. And then she went to my house and took over my bed. I never could sleep in my bed. I have a big, you know, California king bed with a 65-inch TV. It belongs to her when she comes over. So I hit the couch. But that's what grandpas are supposed to do. Yeah, man, I'm going to have her on, um, on a Saturday. We're going out to have seafood and let her do what she wants, you know. So. Oh, my God. Any chance you're going to bring her maybe to see the Jungle Book here with Leonard Maltin? I would, I, I, would, I would love to, you know. Um, you know, she's um, grinding a little bit to school. Mm. Mm. Giving it up, Vivian. You got to get on your game. You're behind a little bit, little girl. So, um, <laughs> Papa said it, you know, so um, we're, we're getting her a little tight, but I take her out. We try to see everything, oh, as much as we can. Yeah. I can't get over, you're actually a grandfather, that just... But people do, you trip, I'm 68 years old, I'm not three, you know. I know, and, uh, but we're only a couple years apart. Yeah, so, so it's like... I mean, let me tell you something, one of the producers on our show, Alan Sachs, almost up until recently, and Alan's like maybe 76 or something like that, and he would look at me and says, God, Larry, now I was thinking of this, a kid from Cotter, a kid from Carter. I said, Alan, I got grandkids, man. One of them's an adult. What's the matter with you? And you know that, you know? So that's how people trip, you know? Oh, well, I am so thrilled to see you here. I'm so thrilled about the movies. No, cool deal. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. And I hope I get to see you again. Yeah, why not? We're in the mood, you know. You know, America's Most Wanted might be after us next, but we're cool. You know, watch out. And I'll be there. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, man.